And here we have the Skull Shores doll for Abby Abominable. Now, to be honest, when they first said they were releasing an Abby doll on the beach, I was kind of surprised because Abby, ice, not really going to work if it's all sunny and shiny. So she's wearing plenty of ice. She has her new version of the necklace to keep her cold. And she's eating ice cream, so I guess that's okay. So Abby's in the typical Skull Shores box. It's just green everywhere with some stripes at the bottom and dead fish at the top. And the really, really unappetizing looking picture of Skull Shores with the skillet looking face and bow. And then we have her picture where she's looking very confused holding the map the wrong way around. And I'm assuming that is the spoon for her ice cream. Which that she's not just eating. <laughs> that she's not just eating part of the bowl. But the ice cream is different on the picture than in the box. Because this is decorated with actual, like, eyes. So it's an ice cream. But this is just a pink mush, really. So, let's look at the back of the box. We have Abby Bomnable, daughter of the Yeti, in 15 languages. And then we have a picture of her with her see-through ice hat. She didn't have it on the front, I suppose that's so it didn't get in the way of the window. And then the others in the set. And probably we will be getting Dracula and Laguna, but Gulia we're not quite as keen on. So we might not necessarily be getting that one. So as you can see, it's a European box. It has MonsterHigh.com and all of its sister sites for all of the different countries. So we'll open up the box and take a look. Okay, so here is Abby on the back packaging with her giant hat. And her postcard, seeing as everyone has a postcard, like in the Gloom Beach one, I suppose. Now, the theme colour for this is obviously green. Green stand, green hairbrush, green on the back packaging. And there's her cup, I suppose, of ice cream, seeing as it has a handle. Don't know where the spoon is, though. Might not have a spoon. Oh, well. And I've just noticed that apparently where they've been trying to strap her in they've actually broken part of the box we have a crack there so we'll get her off of the back packaging now and try not to do any more damage to it and finally we're back with Abby out of the box completely so her hair is um basically the same colorations as it was before it has the pink purple and blue there isn't much blue in it this time um, but she has it in a side ponytail she still has the glitter at the top and the back and her makeup this time it's pretty much the same colors as it was before on the top but slightly lighter shades and then rather than purple she has blue under her eye and then she's wearing a paler purple lipstick and her earrings this time are both the same rather than two different ones and it's an icicle and then ice cubes at the end of it so she's wearing a halter neck bathing suit there's a hole in it here but obviously unlike some of the girls in their other outfits she is actually completely covered even with the hole there so rather than her necklace to keep her at the same temperature she has this little ice crystal attached to the front of her bathing suit um, I think the pattern on here is supposed to be snowflakes and coloured ice crystals possibly but there's definitely snowflakes on there Okay, and then 
on her wrist she has a pink bracelet with a key again I don't know what the key is for but she always seems to have a key and um, we noticed that on her picture she's wearing white furry bracelets but her doll doesn't have them so I don't know why they were in the picture and maybe they just decided they weren't going to include them last minute or something so um, she's wearing a see-through sarong with a fur trim and white snowflake prints and then she's not wearing her tights this time obviously so her legs we know is have a really strange texture to them because of all of the glitter so it's really rough and it doesn't really feel all that nice when you handle the doll and then her shoes are purple icicles pretty much everywhere making up the whole shoe it makes up the straps and the heel and it's in a translucent purple probably to make it have more of an ice effect and she also has her giant hat which has the same translucent purple plastic it's a hard plastic so it doesn't really bend or anything it's just stuck in this shape um, we're assuming it's made of ice including the flower on there seeing as it's made of the same see-through plastic and because of the texturing so it's easy enough to get her to wear it you just sit it on top of her head and it just slants slightly and then she's wearing her hat and she also came with her bowl of ice cream well cup of ice cream it has a handle as we said there is no spoon with it like in the picture so it's a cup made of ice and it's full of some kind of pink slushy stuff don't really know what it is I think I just know it's a pink slushy thing and you can get her to hold it but she does kind of need one both hands to make it balance so you just hook one thumb through the handle and then she holds her ice cream put her hat back on her because it felt And then there's the generic Skull Shores coloured hairbrush and her map. Now we know it's a map because we just did the Gill review. Um, if anyone's wondering why we made the same mistake twice earlier on in the video it's because we did both of the reviews at the same time but we didn't want to but we didn't want to review them together because obviously he's not dating Abby and after the classroom dolls review I've kind of become allergic to editing videos with more than one doll in so here's Abby with her fluffy wristbands which she didn't come with and her map which is exactly the same as the Gill one in fact I'm going to get the Gill one and they're exactly the same so obviously they're looking for the same treasure, they have the same map, but we have pretty pictures, so it's okay. And it means they can't Europeanize it.